five, four, three, two, one. We have ignition. It has been 45 years since NASA launched the Voyager 1 spacecraft into the solar system, and even though the spacecraft was only built to last five years, it's still traveling through never-before-seen parts of the universe. The legendary spacecraft is now sending some strange data back to NASA, leaving many of the space agency's top scientists puzzled. Today, we'll be taking a look at some of the strange data being sent over by the Voyager 1 spacecraft. Join us on this journey as we unravel the mysteries surrounding this iconic space traveler. If you love delving into the unknown and exploring the far reaches of space, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. The Voyager program started in August of 1977, when NASA launched the Voyager 2 spacecraft to encounter Jupiter and Saturn before making its way to Uranus and Neptune. A few days after Voyager 2 was launched, its twin spacecraft, Voyager 1, was launched as well. Both of these spacecraft were nearly identical, weighing about the same as a small car. The timing of their launch was crucial, as there was a unique window of opportunity in 1977 when the planets of interest were perfectly aligned for efficient exploration. During this window, each spacecraft could move from one planet to the other without having to deviate too much from its path. NASA intentionally added a 16-day gap so that the two would have slightly different paths. Because of this, in December of 1977, just months after the launch, Voyager 1 flew past its sibling despite being launched later. Since that day, Voyager 1 has become one of NASA's most valuable assets in making new and exciting space discoveries. Voyager 1 first started sending Jovian images back to Earth in 1978, when it was around 265 million kilometers away from our planet. A year later, the spacecraft spent more than 100 hours capturing almost 4,000 images of Jupiter, helping us create the first ever time lapse showing the gas giant's rotation. A month after that, it became the first spacecraft to discover Jupiter's ring, along with two new moons. These discoveries provided unprecedented insights into the Jovian system, revealing intricate details about its atmosphere, magnetic field, and satellite interactions. Voyager 1's next journey was towards the planet Saturn. On the way, it had to slightly change its trajectory to avoid a collision with one of Saturn's largest moons, Titan. During its orbit of Saturn, it discovered four moons and sent numerous images of the ringed planet back to NASA. The detailed study of Saturn's rings showed the complex structure and dynamics of the ring system, including the discovery of shepherd moons that help maintain the sharp edges of the rings. The data collected during this phase of the mission greatly expanded our understanding of Saturn and its moons, providing a wealth of information that continues to be analyzed and studied. After this, NASA decided it was time to end the Voyager 1 mission. While Voyager 2 continued its race to the ice giants of Uranus and Neptune, becoming the first spacecraft to do so, Voyager 1 began its journey to reach the outside of our solar system. The decision to send Voyager 1 towards interstellar space was driven by the goal of understanding the boundary between our solar system and the rest of the galaxy, a region known as the Heliopause. The Voyager interstellar mission officially started in 1990, at a distance of about 6 billion kilometers away from the Sun. 
Voyager 1 sent back stunning images of numerous planets, taking the first ever family photo of the solar system. By this point, the spacecraft had taken over 67,000 images, and with that, NASA's need for its cameras had come to an end. NASA turned off Voyager 1's cameras to conserve power, but continued to use other instruments on board to study the environment it traveled through. In 1998, when it was 10.3 billion kilometers away from the sun, the spacecraft passed by the Pioneer 10 spacecraft, launched by NASA in 1972. Up until that point, Pioneer 10 had been the farthest man-made object from Earth, but now, that title belonged to Voyager 1. It continued to expand its lead by quite some distance as it moved towards interstellar space. Even though its cameras were off, NASA still had numerous instruments to communicate with the spacecraft. Voyager 1 successfully exited the solar system and entered interstellar space in 2012, although NASA wouldn't publicly announce the accomplishment until 2013. It was now moving away from the sun at a speed of 61,197 kilometers per hour. Its sister spacecraft, Voyager 2, wouldn't leave the solar system until 2018. By that year, Voyager 1 was about 14.5 billion kilometers away from the sun. It continued to send signals back to NASA, revealing more and more about what's inside and outside of our solar system. However, now, Voyager 1 has lost some of its coordination and is starting to send strange signals back to NASA. Most of these signals can't even be deciphered by some of the top scientists in the world, and it seems like the spacecraft itself doesn't know exactly where it is. The spacecraft has been pre-programmed to send a special alarm to NASA in case it ever becomes lost in space, and it's still perfectly capable of doing so. But despite the confusing signals, that alarm hasn't been triggered yet. On top of that, Voyager 1's antenna is seemingly in perfect health and continues to communicate with NASA on a regular basis. However, NASA is now less confident about the reports that the antenna is sending. For now, Voyager 1 is still capable of taking orders from Earth and carrying them out in interstellar space. Considering the spacecraft was designed in the 70s, it's a testament to how far-reaching NASA's technology has always been. Despite all that, NASA believes that the signals being sent from Voyager 1 aren't an accurate representation of what's really happening on the spacecraft. So, what's really happening on board? You might be wondering. Well, NASA equips all of their spacecraft with a specially designed gold-plated disc. This disc carries special audio and video messages in the off chance that it ever comes in contact with an extraterrestrial being. Some of the contents on the disc include over 35 sounds that are unique to Earth, images of daily life on our planet, over an hour of Western music, and greeting messages from numerous former U.S. presidents that have been translated into 55 different languages so that aliens have a higher chance of deciphering some of the content. However, as of 2022, NASA scientists have dismissed theories that the spacecraft may be under the control of aliens. Voyager 1 has numerous safety protocol features that will be activated in case the spacecraft is ever in danger, but none of those protocols have been activated. To add to that, Voyager 1's antenna continues to point in the direction of Earth, but everything being fine makes the strange signals being sent by Voyager 1 even more mysterious. 
It has never sent these indecipherable signals before, even when it was in the same condition. So why is it that the spacecraft is now sending these signals when it's so far away from Earth? Clearly, there's something going on. According to NASA's project manager for the Voyager mission, this is generally on course for a spacecraft as old as Voyager 1. It has been in space for over 45 years at this point, and it's now at a record distance of 23.6 billion kilometers, or around 157.9 astronomical units, away from the Sun. The farther the spacecraft gets, the less reliable the communication between us and the spacecraft will be. To add to that problem, there's no reliable way of fixing Voyager 1 if something ever goes wrong. NASA does not have the capability of creating a spacecraft that can travel into interstellar space to go to the exact same location as Voyager 1 and carry out a rescue mission in time. It's logistically and physically impossible. On top of that, two-way communication is now much slower than it once was. Messages, on average, take around two days to go from NASA's communication station to the spacecraft. This means that the risk of collisions and accidents has been drastically enhanced and NASA's team may not be able to properly communicate in terms of emergencies. Despite all that, NASA is still hopeful that it will be able to fix the current problems that Voyager 1 has been having. It expects the spacecraft to continue sending more and more information about interstellar space back to Earth. The sheer distance of this spacecraft from Earth makes any sort of communication at all, as delayed and unreliable as it may be, extremely valuable for NASA. For now, NASA is using this spacecraft to test the limits of its past and present technology. This data will prove to be indispensable for all future space missions that the space agency carries out. However, there will come a time when Voyager 1 is no longer able to communicate with us back on Earth. With each passing day, the chances of an accident abruptly bringing the mission to an end are greater. So far, it has managed to outlive the circumstances surrounding it. But how long can this continue? The discovery of the strange signals from Voyager 1 has opened up numerous questions and theories about what could be happening aboard the spacecraft. One possibility is that the onboard instruments designed to last only a few years, are now malfunctioning after four and a half decades in the harsh environment of space. The extreme cold, intense radiation, and the vacuum of space could have caused wear and tear that is now beginning to manifest in the form of these strange signals. Another theory suggests that Voyager 1 might be encountering phenomena in interstellar space that are currently beyond our understanding. The region of space where Voyager 1 now travels is a largely uncharted territory filled with cosmic rays, plasma waves, and other unknown factors. These could be influencing the spacecraft's instruments in unexpected ways leading to the mysterious data being sent back. NASA scientists are meticulously analyzing the data to determine whether these anomalies are due to instrument degradation or external factors in space. They are comparing the current data with historical data to identify patterns and inconsistencies. This process is painstakingly slow but crucial for understanding the root cause of the problem. In the meantime, the Voyager 1 team is exploring ways to recalibrate the spacecraft's instruments remotely. This involves sending a series of commands to adjust the settings of the instruments and see if the signals normalize. Given the distance, 
Any such command takes over 21 hours to reach the spacecraft and an equal amount of time for the response to be received, making this a very time-consuming process. The data being sent by Voyager 1, despite its anomalies, continues to be a treasure trove of information. Scientists are using it to study the interstellar medium, the matter that exists in the space between stars. This includes studying the density, temperature, and magnetic field of this medium, which provides insights into the broader structure and behavior of our galaxy. By understanding these elements, scientists hope to unravel the complexities of the space environment beyond our solar system, contributing to our knowledge of how galaxies and stars interact and evolve over time. The Voyager 1 mission also holds sentimental value for humanity. It represents our first steps into the vast unknown, carrying messages of peace and goodwill to any potential extraterrestrial civilizations. The golden record on board serves as a time capsule, capturing the essence of life on Earth in the late 20th century. It includes greetings in 55 languages, music from different cultures, and sounds of nature, painting a picture of our world for anyone who might find it. As we ponder the fate of Voyager 1, it's important to reflect on the incredible achievements of this mission. Launched during a time when technology was far less advanced than it is today, Voyager 1 has outperformed all expectations. It has traveled farther than any human-made object in history, providing invaluable data about our solar system and beyond. The mission has also inspired generations of scientists, engineers, and space enthusiasts. It has shown us what is possible with determination, ingenuity, and a desire to explore. The legacy of Voyager 1 will continue to influence future space missions as we build on the knowledge gained from this pioneering spacecraft. Looking ahead, NASA is already working on the next generation of interstellar probes. These future missions will benefit from advancements in technology, such as more efficient propulsion systems, enhanced communication capabilities, and more durable materials. These probes will be designed to go even further and last even longer, continuing the journey that Voyager 1 started. In conclusion, while the strange signals from Voyager 1 are puzzling, they also highlight the spacecraft's incredible journey and the wealth of knowledge it has provided. As we continue to investigate these anomalies, we remain hopeful that Voyager 1 will keep sending back data for as long as possible, helping us to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. For those of you fascinated by the mysteries of space, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates and in-depth explorations of the universe. Together, let's continue to unravel the secrets of the cosmos and journey into the unknown. The story of Voyager 1 is far from over, and there are still many chapters left to be written. Join us as we follow this incredible mission and uncover the wonders of the universe.